Hey guys, Josh here with the Weekend Angler, back with another short tip Saturday video. Behind me, just in time for winter, I've got us a new project boat. We're going to be working on that thing, getting it ready to go out in the spring. In this envelope, I have the first project of this video series. So let's go over to the workbench. We're going to check this thing out, see what I've got today, and then we're going to get put on this boat. So stick around. Let's see what we got from Amazon today. We have the Nylite TR157 LED damnification light. This is a one piece red and green assembly. Get that unboxed, take a look at this thing. It does include the stainless mounting screws. Wire comes out through the base. If you take a look at that, each side has 12 surface mount LEDs, so it's 12 green ones, 12 red ones. We're going to start out prior to installation by testing our light for proper function. I'm using a 12 volt regulated power supply at my workbench. As you can see, the light powers up. It's extremely bright. And because LEDs are known for low current draw, let's go ahead and check the amperage being drawn by this one. We're going to run this through the benchtop ammeter, and it's showing a draw of around 160, 161 milliamps. Let's go ahead and compare that to the existing navigation light. The incandescent one draws about 570 milliamps, so the LED is drawing three and a half times less amperage. So for installation, you're going to want to locate your existing navigation light wiring. If you don't already have wiring, I do have a video showing how to wire the switch. Next, you'll want to turn on the power to your navigation light. We're going to use a multimeter set to the DC volt scale to verify the proper voltage. LEDs are polarity specific, so remember which wires are positive, which one is negative. In this case, the blue wire is going to be negative, white is going to be positive. Now, after turning off the power to the navigation light, we can trim the wiring and strip approximately one quarter inch of insulation from the end of the wires. Get those ready for the butt splice connectors. We're going to be using watertight butt splice connectors. These have heat shrink on the outside of them. We'll use a crimping tool to apply those to each one of the existing navigation light wires. Get those crimped real good. And now we're going to trim the positive red wire of the navigation light and strip approximately a quarter inch of insulation. We'll put that into the butt splice connector and crimp it securely. do the same thing with the black, the negative wire on the navigation light, get that crimped in. And then use a heat gun or a lighter to shrink the butt splice connector heat shrink. This is going to seal the connector and prevent any water intrusion. If you do use a lighter, be careful not to burn it. There's room for wire storage beneath this navigation light, so we'll coil the wire up and then we'll place the light onto the mounting surface. We'll use the supplied stainless steel screws and a Phillips screwdriver to attach the light to the mounting surface. Be careful to avoid over tightening. Last step after completing installation is to verify proper function of the navigation light. This one's working good. It's easily seen even in the daylight. All right, folks. Well, that's going to pretty much bring us to the end of this week's video. You saw just how easy it was to upgrade our navigation light to an LED light. And we get a couple of benefits from that. One is it is quite a bit brighter than your typical incandescent navigation light.
and the other is it also draws less amperage which means the less draw on your battery means your battery is going to last longer and that equates to more time spent out on the water fishing hanging out on the boat whatever you're wanting to do guys if this video has helped you out please take a moment give it that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel checking me out for the first time guys i post a fishing or boating related tip or trick every week so if that's something you're interested in hit that subscribe button and then that little bell next to it that way you don't miss any videos the link to purchase the exact nylite navigation light that we used in this video is in the description of this one go over check it out it don't cost a whole lot it's a good upgrade I think it's going to be a great addition to this boat. We'll see you real soon with more projects here on this boat. We need a name for it. Put that down in the comments section. Give me a name for this boat. We had Project Drift Sock the last time. We need a good name on this one. Uh, check out my other video talking about the new boat, talking about the new project. It's going to be up here real soon. And guys, that's all I got for this week. So take care. Until next time, we'll catch you out on the water.